This is Rachel Ellerine, the queen of strong smile. I'm Eric Bischoff. Live events, all right? When the WWE comes on the holiday tour, when they come to Ireland. Or Davey Boy without hair braids. As a fan with braids, as a product <laughs> without braids. And you. And you are watching. Are watching Wrestle Slam. Wrestle Slam. Okay, guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Wrestling Slam. I'm joined by Phil, Jerry, and Liz. It's been a mad week, a mad, uh, a mad two weeks. We've had a lot of guests on. Uh, do check out our latest interview with Georgia Smith. And um, myself, Jerry, and Elizabeth have featured on that. And she was lovely, I must say. Um, Enzo, <laughs> NZO, as he goes by now, or formerly known as Enzo Amore. And um, that's going to premiere, I think it's Monday before Raw for all you American fans. And um, the interview itself, guys. It is fucking mental. Absolutely mental. That's the only way to describe it. Enzo is an absolute legend. Um, it's proper in-depth. As I said, it's going to be massive. So for all you Enzo fans out there, check out that interview. It will be on the Sports Matters platform this coming Monday at about 10 p.m. GMT time as well. Also, guys, Eric Bischoff, it's uploaded. It's been massive. We had uh, the quiz with Liz. That's finally featured for the first time. It was huge. Bischoff talked about a potential return creative control he put uh, our Tim Cronin in place big time it was pretty good also check out NXT UK stars Aaliyah James and Oliver Carter on this Sportsman's platform and also Olive aka Vladimir Kozlev that's also on the platform check out Impact Wrestling star Rachel Aaron um, she's also on the platform as well as Sportsman there's some great interviews more to come we're going to stay tight lip, but there's a big uh, big few days ahead here as always so do stay tuned now guys there was um, a little pause from OTT Wrestling before we start um, looks like they might be confirming some dates pretty soon which would probably mean Phoenix Wrestling and Cork will do the same so yeah. that's, that's encouraging news um, Elizabeth Jarrett isn't it like obviously we might get a couple of shows before the end of the year absolutely super super excited there's just such a big buzz at the moment about live shows coming back and that you know Six months ago, it was a pipe dream. We thought we'd never get there. But now, um, the thought of going back to uh, OTT and to Phoenix as well, especially here, it's just some sense of normality and people are chomping at the bit to get back to live shows. I certainly am. And um, yeah, I can't wait, to be honest. If you see kind of everybody again, and because I think as well, the hunger amongst um, our own superstars here, you know, it's going to be just more than ever. It's going to be stronger than ever. They're going to want to really, really show what they are so capable of doing. Um, so I think those first few shows um, coming back, we're in for an absolute treat. Cannot wait. Yeah. yeah. Joe, obviously it's a big team in Cork, you know, when you have like Phoenix wrestling on your doorstep and then obviously OTT in Ireland, in Dublin, which has become one of the most global brands across Europe and worldwide. It's going to be fun times. Like these shows are always busy, but like it's fair to say, you're probably going to have sellouts within 24, 48 hours of tickets going on sale now. Easily, easily. They could they could put on three or four shows each night in a row and still sell out because with travel restrictions, everybody might be vaccinated or you know shows might be back, but people can't travel yet internationally. So a lot of the Irish stars who you know normally will be international somewhere, they're stuck at home, so they're going to be here for Irish shows whenever they open up. So you know half the, uh, the OTT roster could end up at Phoenix or vice versa like they could put on a massive big joint effort show between them like, yeah um, and have some matches that we've never seen before it's gonna so, be surreal yeah it's good like phil we've been lucky enough i know elizabeth jerry been to a lot of shows and we've been lucky enough to be at some in dublin and in cork um it's huge it, it's it, exactly I, what um it's exactly what we need here in ireland to I see can. the return of wrestling yeah and do you see that phoenix are going to be introducing a new title phoenix the phoenix yes. Rises. Yeah, it actually, it actually looks really, really cool. Yeah, they might, uh, yeah. They might ask someone from Wrestle Sam to introduce and, and give the belt to the winner. Who knows? And, might look come here if they're stuck. Yeah. You know, <laughs> uh, they might they might put Tim Cronin through a table. <laughs> <laughs> Not raw, I heard Tim Cronin for that. <laughs> uh, people would pay to see that alone. <laughs> and yeah. I'll from the top of the rope. No, um, but I, th I think October is a realistic date for yeah. shows. T things seem to be better. Look, I, I, the good thing about them, um, about, like, obviously it's been a mad 14, 15 months, but what I have noticed lately, and I'm, I'm kind of going off topic, is we're not really talking about the numbers anymore. Yeah. It's all yeah. kind of yeah. changed. Um, yeah. So, yeah, interesting times out. Guys, Tim Cronin can't make the show. He's actually at work at the moment. So, Tim, 
I'm not going to slag him because look, work does come first. And I know you're working hard. He's out in Black Rock Inn. He's a big celebrity out there when it comes to WrestleSlam. <laughs> um, Matt Murphy's done with y'all. He's actually uh, having some technical issues at the moment. Um, I've seen Matt trying to enter the group, but he's um, his signal is a bit bad. So unfortunately, Matt can't make the show. Just one of them weeks. But look, we have the power couple. Phil and myself here to bring you out with a brand new show of WrestleSlam. Yeah, I'm the power couple, are you? Yeah, you and Phil trying to take me and Jerry's title. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, power couple, definitely. The greatest couple in wrestling industry. Who needs Macho Man and Queen Elizabeth? Look, you have John Elizabeth Rush. You know what I mean? That's, that's what it's all about. <laughs> um, so, I woke up this morning to our WhatsApp groups. Well, sorry, not WhatsApp, Messenger groups. And I've seen someone say SmackDown was pretty good. So, yeah. Phil, I'm going to go to you first of all. Tell us why yeah. SmackDown was good. I just think there was just good matches. There was a, I think the main event was outstanding and also we actually finally got Alistair Black. And what actually happened with Alistair Black? Did he, was he in the match or did he just come out and attack someone? Uh, attacked uh, Big E. That's probably so a good move. A better better than being in the match. Yeah. The thing is, they aired a clip of him, like so we thought it was just going to be the normal uh, clip here and then the, he won't be here for another few weeks, but it was actually a nice surprise. Mm-hmm. And he's in good shape from what I've seen. I've seen, mm-hmm. obviously, he's, he's got himself into good physique. Um, yeah. Jor, obviously, we, we, we've seen Alistair Black um, for some time. Obviously, he made his name in NXT. We know he's, um, he was a big European star and obviously came to NXT. Done amazingly well with Ricochet and, and, you know, kind of came up to the main roster, kind of had a good couple of weeks. And then, obviously, then, you know, usual shit, kind of falls backwards. But do you think this could be a good move for Alistair Black and, and positive stuff moving forward? Uh, hopefully. I hope they book him properly this time because... Uh... Originally, everybody said originally Vince loved him, and then afterwards he said Vince doesn't get him, and he, you know, wants to cut back and all the supernatural stuff. But now they're bringing him out as, you know, a demon or a devil worshiper or whatever he's supposed to be. Like so, yeah. I love him and Biggie as a, as a, a potential feud. Like, but I, I worry that Biggie's going to lose that, and Biggie's going to go back down the card because I thought, you know, everybody's thinking Biggie single push and he's going to go after Roman. But like, if Biggie loses to Alistair Black, where does he end up? But Alistair Black shouldn't be losing to Big E. Like, it'll be the waste of him coming back as well. So, yeah. um, it's going to be a good feud, whatever happens. But I just I fear it's, you know, one of those, the loser actually uh, end up getting destroyed from it. Like It's a crossroads. If you look at both wrestlers, I suppose, we come to Big E, first of all, he won the Intercontinental belt. And we said, right, this is it now. He's going to propel. And it's right. Good move. Because, look, it's good for business. He's got a big character. Very good in the mic. Um, you know, one, one of three in the New Day. Big E will, will go on to big teams. Maybe they should perhaps put him in a triple threat and he doesn't get pinned. That's probably the only safe option for, for Big E because I think him against Roman would be a great match. Probably something mm-hmm. that Roman wants because they know each other quite well backstage. Uh, mm-hmm. Elizabeth, how can you see a pan out? Obviously, Alistair Black is back. We know Big E and him are probably going to feud. But you think maybe, you know, triple threat, not get pinned? Because obviously they can't really have Alistair Black lose a match. Like, you know, if he loses his next two or three matches, then you're like, right, what the fuck was the point? of him mm. coming back and having this big build, you know? How do you reckon it's going to pan out? So, like, would you, when you say triple threat, do you mean with Roman Reigns for the title or in with Apollo? Uh, with, um, yeah, Big E and Apollo, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, because it was like Big E, Apollo, Alistair, and Alistair Black. Who gets the title and who gets pinned? Yeah. Nobody's going to come out of that good. Do you, do you know what I mean? Well, obviously the winner will, do you know? But, like, what happens to the other uh, the other two? Um, as Jerry was saying, my fear with Big E, um, for Alistair Black to go over on Big E, is that... As mentioned, we've had this push for Big E and everyone's kind of been rooting for him. So it would be awful to see all that momentum going, considering how he performed last night in that match. Did you see him fly through the ropes? Jesus Christ, that's a big man flying at a fast speed. Like, I was like, mother of God, you'd want to step aside. Like, he'd kill you. He'd kill him. Totally. You know, so, I mean, when you go from that and all that big hype and push... And then just, and there's nothing wrong with the New Day, you know, it's, it's household you now, the New Day, but does he just fall back into the trio then to be forgotten? Because that does tend to happen after people get a push. Yeah. And if Alistair Black does get the rub and he does go over um, and say he's maybe Apollo's next, um, Apollo's next um, challenger. Thank you. Um, challenger. Then why did he take out Big E? I know to take him out of the picture, but like I know then the assist is kind of like on Apollo's side. But after that, um, I agree, SmackDown was good. There were some really, really good spots that I'm sure we'll get into one of my faves. But if you take out Roman and his um, circus, we're not left with an awful lot. 
Do you know? So I think the rest of it is feeding off of that, which is great because everyone's raising their game. But if Alistair, sorry, small tangent, if Alistair does go over on Big E, um, who's Alistair challenging? Even if it was Alistair back challenging, I can't see him going for Roman Reigns just yet because there's a bit of a circus going around but I think the focus is on the Usos. So it's kind of hard to say if you just go over what happens then because as Jar said, history repeats itself. Vince doesn't know what to do then. It's like he goes over and then we just kind of don't know what to do, particularly with MMA specialists. He doesn't know how to book them properly. Fucking hell, poor Shane Baszler. Do you know, he just doesn't know how to... Um, yeah, so he doesn't know what to do after, yeah. 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 Zero, that's who he's going to go for after this. Who? Do you think so? Oh, yeah, 100%. I think that match is coming maybe SummerSlam. What about Rollins? That he's going to turn face that he's going to fight Roman Reigns. Yeah. Like, Phil, what's your take on it? Because look, we we're, we're, like... There's a lot of stuff happening now. Again, it's kind of all happening so fast. You know what I mean? There's also something lingering in the background. The herd. The yeah. herd is. Yes. I, I don't know who that is, but. Do you reckon Nikki Cross is part of this? I would like to hope so, but I don't know. Yeah. It's mad. Obviously, look, we're all we're all happy Alistair Black's back. You know what I mean? Um, great wrestler. I love, you know. I love his new look as well. He's got like eye contact. He looks. He looks pretty cool, like. Yeah. Uh, evil. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Obviously, That's Rollins unleashed a little attack on, on Cesaro, who's injured. Yeah. Um, we've seen um, Corbin fight as usual against uh, Nakamura. Oh. Uh, oh. 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 I didn't oh. like this. Finally. Finally. Oh, to hear his um, entrance again being played live was just like, oh my God, I've been waiting for this so long. Even we were chatting about this earlier, and you were saying that um, it would have been nice that for the first live SmackDown. I know it's a little, it's a little bit of time away, but I can't even imagine the um, response that would have got from a live crowd to hear his entrance been played live. And yeah. even when um, he popped up on the announce desk and started playing his intro in the middle of the match, which yeah. was brilliant. Can you imagine if Shinsuke was getting the beat down and that came on and the whole crowd is singing that and Shinsuke then goes over? I'd pop huge for that, like huge. Yeah, it would be huge. Yeah. Like, as I, I was very excited about that. Do you think they're looking up? Obviously, we know live events are back, guys, on July 16th, which was a big announcement on WWE.com. So things are looking up. You've got live events back. I'd say it's only a matter of time before we do see... Um, fans back in, in the arenas and stuff yeah. as you say money for everything bank, like, not just the bank, events Money in the Bank is the first show I think with a full capacity yeah it's, it's, it's really it's looking up you know what I mean it's really looking up yeah it's, it's really looking up um, obviously we, we've seen a lot in Smackdown there's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff happening as always um, what's going to happen with Bobby because look everyone's talking about Bobby this Bobby that um, is he going to drop the belt soon or do you reckon it's, it's the case I know we spoke about it last week as well is he going to hold that belt for a bit longer? Yeah. Brock is coming. But everyone's saying Brock is going to hold off. Well, SummerSlam, SummerSlam's actually going to be in a stadium, so it'll be Brock. 100%. Vegas. He's going to come up and wipe yeah. him in two seconds. Brock and Vegas. They're going for Vegas. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. You think it's going to happen? R- Rollins and Brock. And Brock, Brock, Brock and Vegas at the MGM for uh, SummerSlam. Or yeah. somewhere in Vegas. I had a burst of my gut. Say something. Say something. <laughs> well, yes, Brock. I have to. I'm going to burst because I was there this morning and I was like, oh my God. Can you imagine if Brock came back and won money in the bank and came out to cash in on Roman? <laughs> and here's Paul Heyman. I would just be like, what are you going to do, Paul? What are you going to do? I just, oh man. It's so drama. I love it. I'm here for that. So I would love for that to happen. Love. But what about uh, Kobe Kingston part two? Obviously, we've seen Kobe pin Bobby. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's probably, you know, where I got the confusion. Can, can Kobe go on a second run? No. Um, I don't think, I think a US title reign is more realistic. You don't think he could ever go on and face Bobby? No, I think so. It can't be. be history made in that match, no? Not without the fans. No. Yeah. Yeah. But if it was going to happen next year, man, yeah. Obviously, it was a thing that was trending. Do you know what I mean? We're, we're seeing a lot trending at the moment. Like the two names that are trending. Obviously, I think Jinder Mahal is number one, and obviously Kobe's number two. I think it will like, happen. Everyone face light up down when I mentioned Jinder, but look, you don't think Kobe's going to go on another run? It's not possible, no. I think what happened is Kobe pinned Randy Orton and uh, Lashley in one night. Yeah. yeah. 
and people just got a bit over overexcited. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we know what overexcitement leads to, like. <laughs> I honestly I can't see it, and also it's weird. Just be, just on the topic of raw, they turned AJ Styles' face. I don't think they know what the fuck they're doing with him. I honestly don't. He's just because they won the the tag titles, and I just think now it's kind of like they literally don't know what to do. And because they were gone for weeks afterwards, they never capitalized on it. So now they're in complete limbo. Even the fans don't know what the fuck's going on. You know, we don't know what he is. He's spinning more than a wheel. Like we literally nobody knows what's going on so we're all kind of indifferent you know there's no yay or boo it's just we're all indifferent yeah I think, uh, they're going to turn uh, Matt Riddle heel though a long yeah. time in the garden they have them feud with AJ and almost maybe I don't know I don't think they'll hold off until SummerSlam they haven't got the patience to do that no um, but they are they, they you know Matt Riddle as a heel will be awesome like yeah. he'd get rid of the goofy shit and just be a fucking killer like he he can do like we know what he's like. Yeah. Him and Randy Orton as a heel tag team would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. No. Jinder Mahal, lads, four years. He uh, he was crowned the greatest ever champion in WWE history. Look, the momentum is building. And I know I mentioned Kobe in a run because look, that was a topic that came up. But is it more realistic that Jinder can win another run? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Is it gonna happen, Elizabeth Jar? Yes, 100%. Um, and I believe he's going to accredit his first victory to Tim. I could be <laughs> wrong, but I think that's what, that's what was trending. Yes. But, um, totally, I would, 100%. If I, if, I was, if I was a betting man, I would bet that Jinder Mahal is going to win the money in the bank. <gasps> with the help of in, in this year. It wouldn't happen. I wouldn't be surprised. He would be, yeah. a gr- he'd be great with that. Imagine him running around with that briefcase for six or seven months. Well, he... Yeah. like. He he's so underrated, isn't he? I think it's fucking it's it's um it's such a crime how underrated he is. He was yeah, an unbelievable really champion. Um, yeah. like even even when he came out, like when when he was champion, like in his first episode of of, of I think it was Raw or SmackDown back then. And they went to police and all that. It was cool, yeah. It was huge. Yeah. It was yeah. huge. Like it's 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 fair to say the business is in safe hands of Jinder. Actually, is the champion, like. Yeah. yeah, he has a presence. He just he just has a presence when he comes out. Like you know, you you sit up and you take notice and 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 listen. So he does definitely has the capability, and there's definitely another run in him for sure. Yeah, I'd like to see him take it up. Go ahead. Okay, so I would like him to see to see him take the title off him and um, have a little bit of a run. It's fresh. Uh, I, I would like to see him beat Drew McIntyre at SummerSlam. Yeah. Yes, want that match? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Do, do you think matchups? Yeah, maybe maybe he'll. Um... He'll win money in the bank and maybe he'll be true and he'll cash in the belt. Yeah. Cash in on the belt. And, and, I don't see him being champion around WrestleMania, so it's kind of... SummerSlam job, like. Transitional. Give him yeah. Yeah. three or four months run. Like. Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm going to switch quickly to a guy that's obviously in that frame. A lot of people have talked about him. Obviously, Moose denies he's, um, he's recently yeah. for impact. Yeah. Now, we don't know what's going on. But obviously, Moose is a guy that we think Vince will like. Um, obviously, a big name in impact. He looks really good, really good on the mic. Yeah. Phil, do you reckon it's the case of he's going to come in and, and do something more, do you reckon he'll re with Impact? Because we've seen what happened on Impact um, in the last number of days with this new promo. And we're seeing a lot of signs of the Iconics, possibly a sign of Daniel Bryan. Um, what do you reckon is going to happen with Moose? I think AEW's pay-per-view is going to tell a lot. Um, yeah. If he's not on that, I reckon he's staying at Impact. Yeah. Like... Kenny, he should come out after the show next week if he's fighting Kenny. Yeah. Although Kenny now is starting to get a, I, I get my nerves as well. No, I know a little bit. I know a little <laughs> just bit. me? Yeah. No, yeah. he's just, it, just that thing where your man was holding up the belts last week just bugged me. Good. It just looks second race, like. Yeah, yeah. I just still don't know what Impact's getting out of this. Like, they're never oh, on it. They're not coming on to AEW. Like, they're not appearing on it and, you know, invading them. They... Yeah. Challenge Kenny Omega, like so. I don't see how they're benefiting out of this at all. Their title oh, looks shit on him, like he's not yeah. doing anything with it. Yeah, yeah, so that's the thing. Like, if Moose doesn't show up next week at the pay per view, he's staying with Impact. But if he comes to the pay per view, he's probably joining All Elite Wrestling. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think Moose would fit into the to uh, AEW, like, because I don't you see what they do with their big men. Like, it's took them nearly a year to build up Miro. Yeah. And Lance Archer hasn't been used properly since he had that match of Cody. And Brian yeah. Cage completely screwed. 
Well, it's, yeah. It's, it, yeah. it seems to me the tables are turning towards Impact because look, we're, we're obviously we always going to switch from WWE to Impact. There's a lot of stuff going on at the moment. There's talks Chelsea Green is going to sign. Supposing yeah. that's that's yeah. open the open. That's something that's really happening. Um, Iconics is one hundred percent. Yeah, and do you reckon there'll be a duo? They're going to come in as the Iconics. Obviously, they won't be able to use yeah. the name. I don't think, but mm. yeah. yeah, they will come in as a duo. Yeah, it's encouraging. It is yeah. really tag encouraging. Teams. There's well as tag teams that there for for them yeah. to fight. So and our Gray signed a new long term deal. Yeah, no, we did see that yes sign in that promo. The yes sign was there, guys. Yeah, is it is is Daniel Bryan going to shock the world? I wouldn't. I don't think so. I, I think there's too much on the line. Yeah, they, they're just uh, putting a bit of hype into the video so everybody watches it. Yeah, didn't they do that for the last one yeah, as well? Yeah, they did that last year. Who was it for? Can remember who it was for. Is that like? Um, yeah. Oh, there was another one as well who had been released, and they put their line into the promo for it. Yeah, slip my mind now. Can't remember, but they did it before, similar, and it was like, yeah, there's no way they're going to impact. There's a couple, and they of, guys, there's a couple of new Japan guys. Are I right, going to sign? But Samoa Joe's face is actually in the video, like. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. So it was That's Mickey who it was. Was it Small Joe? That's oh, who it was yeah. in the last one. No, um, um, coming off the last day, if you remember after the... Oh, sorry, oh, last yeah. year when the lack of them were released. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Small Joe, who in, Interesting times ahead. Um, a lot of rumours as well, guys, you know, that we're going to see um, John Cena back in, 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 in wrestling yeah. soon. Now, it's got to be yeah. WWE. We know John Cena oh, will yeah. never do anything bare WWE. So, what could John Cena possibly be coming back for? To promote something or to wrestle? Phil, what's your thing? A pop for the first crowd. We, the first crowd. I think so too. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a pop for the first crowd. And I wouldn't be surprised if legends start to appear out of nowhere. Storylines go out the fucking window. And it's just kind of like our first live crowd. So, I won't lie. I can't, I'm half expecting Hulk Hogan. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Because, you know, they've been controlling their audience reactions for the last what 12 15 months you know they you know, like they've been you know we've been hearing the the piping noise that they want to hear so i think they might be in for a bit of a reality check when they go live you know so yeah what, wasn't tim paul to, to chair for when he signed up tim yeah. signed up for this you were yeah. yeah you are in the thunderdome they're like oh here's so and so loads of booze loads of but they tell you yeah. what to do yeah it's, it's not fun we were in it for it's, the pre-show for Royal Rumble. Yeah, yeah. No, Royal, no Rumble. Royal Rumble, and it's and it's, it's trying. Really, really after after ten minutes, it's just like somebody, oh. some producers, just telling you, "Oh yeah, I start start applauding there." I was like, "No." Oh. I'm a fucking I trained fucking monkeys, watching, like right? literally trained monkeys. Should, should be a natural reaction. You shouldn't be told. Did, did you watch you yourself on in, in the turn it on? Did you? Did you no. Come no. no, no, you can't. You can only see about twenty people at a time. Realistically, yeah. you can. But um, and you're like that little bit further ahead of everybody. The no only way you get into into the main, you know, hard camera view is if you're really playing up to what they're telling you to do. Like if they'll they'll put you in that position during the pre-show and they'll like move you into the hard camera spot then for the main sure. show. Really, if you're really motivated and animated for them, yeah. we were like, oh, I just want to watch the paper. It's hard work. You can't enjoy the paper. You can because they're talking over the whole thing. You can't even hear the commentary. They're like, oh yeah, it's time to start cheering. It's like, oh, it's not. I don't even like them. And what you're seeing doesn't match what's on your TV screen. You're a bit ahead. Yeah. So it's like, literally, you've got one eye going that way and one <laughs> eye going that way. And you're trying to listen and you're like, I don't know what to do. So it's a bit, yeah, it's trying to say the least. Bring back the fans. Interesting. Interesting. It'll tell a lot as well. Oh, it will, hugely. Um, quickly, I have to mention, look, there's talks that look, Velveteen Dream is gone. Yeah. Yeah. There, there, there was a horrible, stuff. horrible story that came out yesterday. Um, um, Having cameras in bathrooms and locker rooms. Yeah. It's just crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, as I said, look, I, I won't really talk about it. Look, obviously, I've done media stuff over the years. And I remember being in um, one part of America. I won't mention when, but it was my turn to interview Velveteen, Velveteen Dream. And I often not to do it because the guy he was with before me, he was very awkward. Um, yeah. not, not in a weird way, just he wouldn't really talk much and stuff. He was kind of in character. <laughs> But the character wasn't really... It was misleading for the interview and stuff. But it looks like he's done and dusted. Um, Phil, do you reckon he's ever going to wrestle again? It probably looks like he's not. No. I don't, think, no. I don't even think he'll be in little gyms or any. He's finished. Yeah. It, it seems that way. Um, yeah, sure. Obviously, we, we've seen him over the years. And obviously, he made an impact. We know in NXT, in takeovers and stuff, the guy he was, he was, he was a good in, in-ring performer. But... Yeah. Clearly, he's the one personal shit's got the better of him, and now it looks like he's done. Yeah. 
seems that way. Yeah, he's uh, his character was brilliant. Like he had the you know John Cena even talking about how he wanted to face him at WrestleMania at some point and yeah. down the line. Like so, you know his character back then was so over. Like he was a larger than life character for NXT that they didn't actually help and they still haven't. They, there's no larger than life characters in NXT right now as it is. Like, that's yeah. some, one of the issues that NXT has. Like so, uh, it's just a shame. Like because he had so much potential. Like and obviously. Being that character, isn't it? Being the person he is behind the scenes just seems to have popped out now. And I'd say we're going to get a lot more stories about yeah. him that people weren't allowed to talk about until he was gone. Yeah, yeah. does play it safe because obviously you have to say it tight lipped backstage until someone is gone. Yeah. But look, it, it's done and dusted. Now, obviously, we're seeing a lot of stuff. It, it is an awful shame in the sense he, he obviously had a lot of talent, but he, he just, you know, I mean, obviously, there's issues behind the line. Um, Before we go there, can I just get your thoughts on NXT because NXT is so like one-dimensional right now yeah yeah like, it's, like obviously i'm watching a lot of nxt uk and I'm, I'm actually preferring that oh, right now brilliant but, i love that but main nxt yeah. yeah it's kind of gone backwards like you know what i mean even with adam cole and johnny gargan they're all kind of lost mm-hmm. in place at this moment yeah it's one no there's no there's no actual yeah. plan yeah mm-hmm. even like the bronson reed title exchange um and i hate to say it, but like I don't know enough about Bronson Reed, whether that be my fault or how well, he's, the same, well, the same is. That he's had this 14 year wait for his title. And I'm going, where was all of this in the build up to this match? Yeah. Why are we? What He was never presented to me as a fan, as an underdog, ever. Yeah. Never yes, presented sir. to me as an underdog. So why would I care? And it's not against him, but why would I care that he's getting his first title in 14 years and his wife is coming out and stuff and I was thinking it was made out to be an, an enormous deal but I couldn't figure out why you know it just wasn't presented like that yeah. for his title so I, I kind of felt a bit bad for him and as well NXT are very they need fans because it's a very very niche um fan type that is um all in all in for sure. NXT yeah. yeah it's I'm the same when you, when you said like because I didn't know who he was Mm. But when I went on to obviously I didn't watch it, but when I when I when I seen the highlights and stuff, I was like, well, who the fuck's that? Yeah. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I just did not know who he was, like. And that's telling it's, you something, like, you know what I mean? That's telling you. He's kind of had been talents for a year. Yeah, and he's awesome. He he's got a big future, but I just yeah. didn't realise I didn't realise who it was. Like obviously when it comes to NXT, like, you know, I'll obviously watch like we know Tony Storm and Zoe Stark. Like to me, obviously the highlight of NXT was obviously the Teddy DiBiase. Do you know what I mean? There was there was yeah. We all kind of knew that Teddy Biasi was coming back. Um, but NXT are falling into this pattern of the main roster now of this weird booking. Yeah, but even even yeah. even like you know, Camp Cambi is an attack team at the moment with Timmy Thatcher. Like it's, yeah. you know what I mean? It's it's well, it wasn't a tag team. It, it was a triple threat. Like but, also like released Alexander Wolf. Yeah, and then and then you have yeah. like I mean. Hit Row, obviously you know dominate as usual. Like and then you have you know They're what I mean. They're going to be huge. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like it is. It is gone off balance a bit. Like, and maybe, maybe there's a reason behind it. Like, I don't know. You know? Well, it's, it's, it's not, it's not a bad show. It's the it's same. Not a bad show. Yeah, it's just it's it's we're not we're it's not just going consistently. Going. You know, it's it's like that. It doesn't go up or down. It just stays. That's why the the fans of you know seven hundred thousand like they're constantly getting in around that mark every week because they're consistently that level. They've never gone up that level since the pandemic. Like, and Liz is right. They really need those fans because those four or five hundred fans that were in in their arena before the pandemic were were basically a character to themselves. Yeah, they were completely invested in what was going on. Completely, yeah. they don't bring any new talent in for. I can't remember the last time I saw new talents. Yeah, it's going to come though. We're seeing a lot of recruitments and stuff. Um, yeah, again, lads, it's been a big show. We covered a lot. We we there was a lot to juggle, but we got a lot in most of the stuff. Don't forget, guys, to check out Slam Wrestling on Twitter. Um, it is the Wrestling Slam Twitter page. Big thanks to uh, to Jordan and Timmy. They've worked hard behind the scenes on that page, as always. Also, Elizabeth, for sharing everything, absolutely everything. Don't forget to check out all our interviews, as always. And uh, Phil, thank you for the production, my man. Absolute yeah. legend, as always. Um, Matt and Tim will be back next week, guys. I know Tim is working, but he will be back. And Matt was trying to get into the, into the chat. But unfortunately, he's having technical issues. So, big thanks to everyone that's tuned in. We'll be back next week. And do stay tuned for some interviews. We've got a big surprise this coming Tuesday and one on Thursday as well. There's two surprises on Tuesday. So, look, just keep an eye. We've got a guy that's really heavily linked to, to 
to WWE at the moment coming on with us next week as well. So look, do stay tuned and we'll catch you all soon, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.